Hey y'all, it's Jazzbell. Um, this time is another tutorial on how to panel curved walls in the game. So the first thing that we're going to do, I mean, as you can see, I had to pick a different zone than my usual zone because I needed some curved walls. Uh, and the specific walls in question happen to be the Miss Moore Crags estate. So I figured, why not? I have an empty Miss Moore Crags estate. Let's use it. So for here, I didn't bring a lot of tiles because this is just an example, but it's enough to show you what's going on. So first thing to do is to drag, oops, first thing to do is to save the without, then we're going to drag the tiles onto the hotbar and then click the hotbar button to place all 10 tiles. Uh, I kind of do wish I'd brought more than 10 tiles, but this is what I happen to have in my uh, tutorial house. So. So now we click the with button, um, go to the layout editor. I was working with a different with file earlier, so now we have to open with. And as you can see, there's an entire 10 items here, but I prefer to work in the, um, in the groups tab anyway, so I just did a diff. And oh dear, I think I'm going to sneeze. Okay. Alright, so. For these, we're actually going to do a little bit of this by hand instead of with the layout editor. But what we do want to do is let's just let's create all of them except for one, just so I can show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so we'll load this in the game. Now, if we're looking at this, you can see that there's a definite pattern to these tiles. So that's one thing you have to consider is if the item you're using has a pattern and if that pattern is directional. Um, if it is, you may have a problem, we'll see. Okay, so in this case, first we're gonna try roll and we're gonna go to 90 degrees because that brings it upright. I'm gonna go back into the game, load it, and this is where the problem comes in, like I said. So let's raise it up just use the housing editor to raise it up a little bit so you can see. So as you can see, rolling it in this case didn't quite work. I prefer to roll it as often as possible. If I can roll a tile and that's how, um, that's how it, it'll stand upright and the pattern will be fine, that's what I'll use because roll is, it's, it's a very forgiving um, direction. In the case of pitch, pitch has problems. We'll just put it that way. Pitch, if you if you pitched it 90 degrees, it would pitch a fit. In fact, let me show you it pitching a fit. So 90 degrees. Uh, if you suffer from seizures, please um, please look away now. <laughs> okay, it's probably not that bad, but still, it is flashy. So you load it and look at it go. Woo! Did you see it spinning? Let me raise it up to, all right, we're going to set this back to zero and we'll raise it up. We'll raise it up to five. No, we'll raise it up to six. So it's higher. All right, so let's load it. So right now it's, it's flat six in the air. Now let's say pitch 90, save it, and I will show you what happens when you pitch again. Look at it spin, and not only spin, but did you see the texture flickering as it flipped back and forth really fast? With a tile, it's not as much of a problem, um, but it is definitely a problem with um, with other items. So we don't we don't want to pitch if at all possible. Unfortunately, like I said, with this design, as you can see, it looks best like this or in the other direction with these going this way. So let's try pitching it negative 89.94. Um, I always offset my pitch by 0.06 because that ensures we don't get the weird uh, flicker hopping thing that it does. And negative, as you can see, was obviously the wrong direction to go because now I have scales instead of fans. So if you want scaled walls with this tile, negative 89.94 is the way to go, but that's not what I want. So let's go back and we're going to change this to positive 89.94. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to select this and we're going to say replace 
If you can't see the right click menu, I'm sorry, but I'm going to the replace option. Pops up this. We're, we're going to leave this one blank because we're not replacing items. We're going to go down to the pitch box and we are going to put 89.94. And what that's going to do is replace the pitch for every single item that we had selected. So uncreate these, save it, load it. And now, as you can see, we have a stack of items that are facing the wrong way, but that are um, the texture is correct. So what we're going to do is blow them up big. You don't have to do it this big, but in this case, I, I want to use as few tiles as possible to fill up the space. And we're going to try to position it by hand Erg. along the wall. This is more difficult than you might expect. Do to do. There we go. Nope. Doesn't wanna. All right. So it's really not wanting to cooperate here because I want to get it right on this little ledge here. Oh, because it's a curved ledge, so it's it's unhappy with that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place it by by hand first, and then we'll we'll tweak it into position with the editor. So that's sort of where we want it to go. Oh, that's too low. So let's turn on house edit, and we'll raise it up to where it needs to go, which is about right there. I want it right there. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first step. As you can see, I tried to line it up right here. Let's see if I can turn on. There we go. That's a little brighter. I don't usually need that, but so I tried to line it up right along here. Actually, I used the bottom, but it, it amounts to the same thing. So now we're going to move this one. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting one tile per angle of the wall. So as you can see, the wall might be curved when you look at it just you know glance at it but if you actually look at it carefully there are straight sections like there's a straight section from here to here let me pull this off so you can see my mouse my pointer so from here to here is a straight section from here to here is a straight section from here all the way to here is another straight section and you can see right here it just curves a little bit more so it does take a lot of tiles if you want to follow it perfectly. I mean, you could choose instead to do two, one tile per two sections. So you would go from here, skip adding a new tile, and you would just go all the way here. So the tile would go from one edge to the other. But like I said, I prefer to have it as exact as possible. So I'm going to um, follow along each section. So move it rotate it so it matches. What I usually do is I stick it against the wall and then try to find a spot where it it uh, where it doesn't have the... there we go. See how when I'm now I'm turning it and just one one click, one alt click, alt click is a tiny turn, in either direction flips it. That means that that's as straight as I can get it um, in game. So we can see that's actually not quite right. So I'll click, and yeah, that works better. All right, so next step, blow it up huge. And try to find a spot here to place it, because this is the most annoying part. Do, 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 do. Okay, there. And you can see that it's sort of okay, but it's not here. I like this right here better because the texture kind of matches a little better. Uh, well, it's not perfect, but can we scale? Yeah, scales all the way up here. Scales all the way up here. It's just that the these these parts don't have the same diameter all the way across. Okay. So, well, actually, what we could do is move it and see if we can match up the pattern a little better. This is just me being picky. <laughs> I really shouldn't be doing this for the tutorial, but I'm, I'm being picky. No, it's not going to match up any better than that. Okay. 
So let's just hit escape so it goes back to where it was. So that's two sections. As you can see here, it kind of follows along there. It's not perfect. In fact, let me see if I can rotate it just a tiny bit. Oops, wrong way. There we go. That's more in line. So there's that. Now the issue, of course, here is that we're blocking the uh, baseboard. And that's kind of a pretty baseboard. So what I can do is... Let me put up one more section of wall here so that at least we have, or two more sections so that at least we have this entire area between the two pillars covered. All right, so move, rotate until it matches the wall. There we go. Make it big, 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 big. Chances are, yep, we're gonna have to be here to get it to show up. All right, now we're going to use this to raise it up until it's all the way up there. And check the rotation. The rotation is a tiny bit off, as you can see, because this part up here is a tiny bit wider than this part down here. So let's rotate. Um, There we go. All right, so one more tile to cover that spot right there. Actually, let's, let's raise this up just a tad more. Yeah, I like that a little better. All right, and we'll move this one. There we go. Oops, I forgot to rotate it. I usually like to rotate it before I scale it, but I forgot this time, so we're just gonna Come on, let me do this, don't, don't. Sometimes you have to kind of move around to find the spot to put it in. This one's not, it keeps popping out. It's not wanting to let me do it from, ah, okay, so I have to go from this side. That's fine, we can do it from this side. There we go. And now let's raise it up. So can we do it, yeah, we can do it right there. Okay, and no, we need it higher because as you can see, this spot right here is part of the straight bit and it's not. There we go. Okay. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but... Alright, and it's rotated wrong. Once again, as you can see, the trim right there is not quite in line with the trim right there, so we're going to rotate it just a tiny bit. That's better. Okay. So we have this, but our really nice baseboard is not showing, and that kind of sucks because if we have these great gold stairs and these gold pillars, it's kind of nice to have the gold baseboard. So let's go over here, open this. We're going to say with, and we're going to do this one tile at a time. Pack it in the moving crate. Say without, go back to the layout editor, file open with, diff without, and we want to just do it by point oh one. If we look here, we see I'm mostly facing um, east in this direction. So let's see if you look up here, my, my, uh, uh, what is this thing called? Compass. For some reason, I kept thinking it started with an E, and I knew that wasn't right. My compass says I'm facing east. So I'm going to go back to the layout editor. I've changed my move amount to 0.01. I've selected the item I want to move, and I'm going to click the east button once. That will move my item one unit to the east. So now I go back to the game and click load working, and this has actually moved one unit to the east, or 0.101 unit to the east, and that was not enough. That was definitely not enough. Okay, so let's go back to this and try two more. I just double clicked the East button. Go back to the game, load it, and that's still not enough. So, so far we're up to three and it's not working. Let's do four, five. Go back to the game. Sorry, did not mean to spin myself around. Load it. 
Almost there, as you can see. Almost there. Six, seven. Go back to the game. Stop spinning, game. Load it. There we go. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite, because you see we want this entire thing. So let's try eight. Lucky number eight. Is it lucky? I don't know. No, it's not. All right, let's try nine. Still no go. Ten? Is ten going to be? This is actually up to from point oh one to point one. Is that really? No, not there. Eleven. Still not. Let's go all the way up to lucky number thirteen. And a spin, just because. Load working. 13 still not there. Alright, so let's try 15. Okay, this is a lot further than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> 17? Let's try 18. I'll give it that little extra bump, just to see. And another spin, because, oh, that's pretty. I know I've noticed these before, but every so often I just notice it again. Okay. No, so let's go all the way to 20, which happens to be 0.2 units. An entire 0.2 units when I thought that I was actually a lot closer to the wall than that. I'm going to call that good enough, because no, no, I want to keep going. It's not there yet. Let's try an extra three, so that's 0.23 units. Alright, so let's do 0.25 units. I like 0.25. Please work. That's a nice number. There we go. 0.25 units. That looks about perfect. So, now we're going to say with. We don't actually need to click the with again, but I always do that because I don't want to screw anything up. Pack it. Say without. Go back to the layout editor. You do not need to open the width again. You can just click the diff. And tile will pop in. And I said it was 0.25. And in this case, we're facing mostly southeast. So let's try clicking the southeast button right here. There we go. That's, oh, that's not quite enough. Well, let's point oh one, and let's go three point oh three more to the southeast. No, it didn't want to. Sorry, didn't want to work. So northwest, we'll try. Try dropping it down to one more. Nope, it doesn't want to go. Okay, well that's as far as that one's willing to budge. So we might have to pull the other one back out from the wall a little bit to make it match along the trim. Alright, so let's try point two five for this one also in the southeast direction. Alright, load it. And there we go. That looks rather pretty. And then this last one here, which is kind of more well, it's not really south, it's not really east, it's south-southeast. But calculating what south-southeast is for 0.25 is too much effort. So I'm just going to go southeast again. Because this is really... Um, by... what is it called when it's by... It's just guesstimating throughout. This isn't an exact science for this. Ooh. That is not rotated correctly, as you can see, because some of it is poking out. So 
if we want to rotate this, we actually want to rotate it in a clockwise direction. Um, so it needs to be more positive. So instead of a three, let's try it, or three eight, let's try a two. And that was nice, but it didn't quite do it. So let's try a one. And there we go. So that is how I would go about lining these walls here. Um, of course, if you'd rather not have the baseboards or the upper trim, um, you would you know line it up over here or somewhere else but when you're dealing with circles and things in a game the thing to remember as I said at the very beginning is that they are not actually circles they are made up of many many sides but their curves are straight lines so you know just go through and find the straight lines and then place your straight items along the straight lines it's um, it's not too difficult to do. It does take a, a lot of items, like I said. I mean, looking just just remember, we just did the distance between two pillars, and that took four items. And actually, I should have had a fifth one here because, as you can see, I missed right here is where another curve actually starts. This is the straight side. The curved section of the wall actually already starts by right here. So, yeah, this is basically five items that it would take to go from pillar to pillar. And when you consider that this one, okay, here's, this one's an overlapping item, so we don't have to count it. But here's one, two, another three items right there, and another one, two, well, it looks like just another two right there. Still, that's that's only that's only half of the side, and then you have to do this whole other side, and then if you're doing this entire zone, well, you've got all the way over here to do also. So it's it does take a lot of items, but if you are interested in replacing the wallpaper in here um, with tiles, there you go. That's how to do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and hopefully you learned something. This was by request um, from, who is it again? I keep forgetting her name. I know it starts with a C. I know it starts with a C. Uh, Chris Day, or Christy, Chris Day on Crush Phone. So um, thank you for requesting this and hopefully this answered your questions. Happy decorating, everyone.